Remain friends with benefits and make other friends with benefits. You might end up falling for one of them and he, she falling for you at the same time. Should that happen, if they're okay with it you can keep your other FWBs, but if not, just become exclusive. I had a FWB, Ben, for a year. We liked each other a lot. He told me I was far and away his best FWB, and that rang true, he was at my house from Thursday night through Sunday morning all but three weekends of that year. About three months I I told him I liked him a lot. He said he did too, but he wanted to be FWB. Okay, can't make someone. I didn't really have time to go make other FWBs, other than one or two. Meantime, I was okay with what we had. I preferred to not know details about those odd weekends, but Ben couldn't keep that hidden, it was like he tried to make me see. That pissed me off each time and I told him I wanted to talk about it to make sure he got that I didn't like it. Each time, he stonewalled and I got madder and took a break. But the breaks ended a couple weeks later each time with him texting me, wide? The third time I got tired of fighting with someone who was just FWB, so I blocked him on all accounts. I did this specifically to try to get other FWBs with more partner potential. That worked. I unblocked Ben after 6 months, but I don't think he knew it. Meantime I ended up with a boyfriend who lasted about a year then things went south. Somehow, Ben heard this, and I got up wide, the very day after I made the breakup official. Ben is now again my FWB, but not as often as before. So, with this sort of FWB, it's possible to work with others toward a committed relationship and to have a fallback, not my idea, but hey, if they don't work out.